One person is dead, a second clinging to life. The man killed outside a Hickory Hill event center is Gotti's brother. Memphis, Tennessee suffered another shocking street homicide with the shooting that ended Yo Gotti's older brother's life. With such a devastating loss, it doesn't seem like the rapper will be about to let the perpetrators slide without an attempt at revenge. Yo Gotti is unfortunately mourning two of his close relatives in just one month, and that type of distress could really cause an extreme reaction with wanting to take matters into his own hands. Keep watching till the end of this video to see the details about how Yo Gotti reacts to his brother being killed. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, I want to give a quick shout out to the number one celebrity jeweler, the Ice Champ. The Ice Champ is doing a special deal for the next 24 hours on diamond watches, chains, and more. Follow at the Ice Champ on Instagram now. Yo Gotti's reaction to Big Jook's death. Yo Gotti has been hit hard with the recent murder of his older brother, and it seems like the rapper wouldn't be hesitating on tracking down his ops and paying them back for their crimes. It has been about a week since the cold-blooded murder of Yo Gotti's brother, and there have been several reactions from rappers and other people to the sad news. Several artists on Yo Gotti's CMG label, which Big Jook was majorly invested in, took to their social media accounts after the news of Jook's death to express their heavy hearts over his passing. The CMG signees, including Glorilla, Big Boogie, and 10%, poured their thoughts out as they posted their photos with Jook online, coupled with sad and crying emojis. CMG rapper Big Boogie posted a photo of himself with his head bowed as he referenced Big Jook with the caption, Forever Love You. Big Boogie continued to grieve as he showed a string of Instagram stories sharing photos and videos of Big Jook. Another CMG artist named ESTG posted a photo of himself and Big Jook with a touching caption that read, Kept it real with me. I could never forget. Glorilla also posted on Instagram with a picture of herself at the 2023 Grammy Awards with Big Jook and Yo Gotti, using the caption, Get your rest, ending with a crying emoji. Wack 100 wasn't very involved with Big Jook, so he directed his heartfelt message to Yo Gotti personally. Wack 100 wrote, What you lost in the physical, you gained in the spiritual. He went further as he tagged the rapper and said, At Yo Gotti, focus, you move on. Let nobody, no emotion, no troll move you. Blessings and condolences to the family. The 47-year-old Jook seemed like he was giving his followers some type of hints just a day before his death. Big Jook was known to mostly post about himself at industry events, Yo Gotti record label signees, concerts and promotions, but it was different that day. Big Jook shared a clip of himself standing next to a Christmas tree before walking out of the building with a caption that seemed suspicious. Jook captioned the post, They don't want to face you, they want to snake you. Stay alert to stay alive, watch your back at all times. Jook added, put snake on the plate and eat great. He ended the caption with snake, plate, and gorilla emojis. While it seemed harmless when his fans read it the previous day, it later seemed to be a warning that he wasn't able to follow through on. Yo Gotti's brother shot and killed. The date of January 13, 2024 turned deadly after Yo Gotti's brother, Anthony Big Jook Mims, was shot dead in their hometown. Big Jook was murdered during a shooting that took place outside of the Perignon's restaurant and event center in Memphis, Tennessee. He was shot along with another yet unidentified victim. Memphis Police Department confirmed to news reporters that police officers were flagged down at 4.15 p.m. local time on a shooting at 6385 Winchester. The statement continued, a male was located on the scene and exported to St. Francis Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The statement also indicated that there was another victim. A second male arrived at St. Francis by private vehicle. He is listed as critical. Police then asked anyone who had information about the tragic incident to contact them. Fox 13 reported that multiple police insiders confirmed that one of the victims was Yo Gotti's elder brother and that he was the one who was dead on arrival. Fox 13 also reported that the second victim, who was still alive, was later airlifted to Regional One Health in Memphis while he was still in critical condition. According to Memphis Deputy Police Chief Paul Wright, both Big Jook and the other unidentified victim were at the restaurant for a funeral reception. TMZ also reported that Big Jook had attended a relative's funeral service in the area earlier that day before he was shot. Additionally, footage from the funeral service showed Big Jook with his younger brother Yo 
body. But there has been no confirmation that the rapper was with Big Jook at the time of the shooting incident. Jook and the other victim had been attending the reception in honor of a loved one named Eric Eugene Bovin. Bovin was a well-known Memphis drug lord in the 1980s and also head of the Bovin family. Yo Gotti's family and Bovins came to be relatives due to him being partnered with Yo Gotti and Jook's aunt. Jook had already posted on his Instagram story about the funeral as he captioned the picture of a man, RIP Unc Las Vegas, Eric Legendary Kingpin. A press conference was held on January 13, 2024, some hours after the shooting, where the police chief deputy reported that the Memphis Police Department did not have a clear suspect identified at the time of the conference, but were reviewing video evidence from the incident. Deputy Paul Wright said it was not clear if there were multiple shooters at the scene. Right now, we do have a video that we are analyzing, but we don't have a clear suspect identified at this time. Wright continued, but we do know that a weapon was used, a firearm was used in this incident. The press conference was soon concluded after Wright ended with, this is preliminary, so we haven't developed a connection to that at this time. We do feel like the individual that was shot was possibly targeted by the suspect. On January 14th, police said a witness who was present at the scene claimed suspects were in a white SUV and were definitely responsible for the horrible incident. Memphis police released photos of the vehicle that was suspected to have been used in the crime. The vehicle, which is a white Ford Explorer with black tinted windows, was captured on a surveillance video and with that evidence, police are likely a step closer to apprehending the suspect. While no arrests have yet been made, the investigation is ongoing. On January 17, 2024, Memphis police said they still had no new information to release about the death of Big Jook, but claimed the investigation of the shooting incident is ongoing. Big Jook's relationship with Yo Gotti and the CMG label. Yo Gotti will definitely feel the loss of his brother a lot more than anyone due to their very close relationship in terms of being blood brothers and good business partners. Over the years, Big Jook has been popularly known to be a big advisor of the Yo Gotti brand, the one which involved his record label. Big Jook often advertised his brother's record label, CMG The Label, also known as Collective Media Group, through his Instagram page. Since the CMG label was founded back in 2012, it has gone on to garner a good reputation among many other labels and has been able to sign a fair number of successful acts in the industry. Over the years, Jook has been very involved as he has appeared several times in music videos released by the label for his brother and even other signees under his brother, but he was reportedly mostly known to work on the business aspect of the label. Jook and Gotti were never involved in any brawl or argument over their money